Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Today's video is our last week of Alter 21 Days of Beauty, which is Sunday, August the 10th through Saturday, August the 17th. So let's jump right into it because I gotta edit this video and get it out today. Today is Saturday. <laughs> so Sunday, right? I had to look at my sash. I already have it. The Urban Decay Stay Naked. Yeah, Hydromatic Tinted Moisturizer. It's going to be $16.15. If you use me as a shade reference, I have the shade 80, and it is phenomenal. I love it. Uh, even though I don't use it a whole lot, but yeah, I love it. So I don't need another one of those, right? Uh, the Anastasia ABH Brow Definer 3-in-1 Triangle Tip Precision Eyebrow Pencil. I have that, and I'm not a fan of it. Here I am digging in this little jar to see if I can find it. I probably won't be able to find it because I never can find anything. Is that it? No. But I brought, I purchased that during one of the last Ulta sales. Is this it? Yeah, see it still. I have two of them, matter of fact. Let's see. Let's see what I have. I try, I, I won't say I don't like it because you already know that I'm not a fan of like a pencil anyway, but I just feel like I have the shade Ebony and probably dark brown. Yeah, Ebony and dark brown and they're going to be $13, but I just feel like they aren't as easy to, or they're not as dark because even right now, not unless I got a bad one. This is ebony, and it's like I almost have to like really press it to get it to um, show any pigment. I think one of my um, buddies told me to like try to like burn it with a lighter first and see. But with my benefits pencil, it's easy for me to you know apply. But those are the two shades, uh, dark brown and ebony. I just feel like it's it's. It tugs at my eyebrows, so I won't be getting that. And also, this is all September the 10th, Sunday. Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. I don't need any more eyeshadow palettes. I am nude out. I have enough nude shades to last me an eternity. Even though this is pretty, it'll be $26. Now, maybe if it was like $12, then I probably would lean toward getting it. But $26, no. I am interested, you all know that I am a Clinique girl, so I am very interested in all about eye cream. Eye cream is something that I don't use, and because I have these two dark spots right here, I feel like maybe if I use an eye cream that'll do something, I don't know what it's going to do, but for $19 and it being Clinique, a really nice uh, brand, I feel that, hey, I'll give it a try, so we'll see. For my son, I think I'm going to pick up for $49, I'm going to pick up the Ralph Lauren Perfume. I wonder why it's called perfume and not cologne because it says it's for men. I don't even know how that smells, but just so that he'll have my youngest son. So just that so that he'll have a cologne that he can spray on for school or whatever. I think $49 is worth it. Let's see what else. That's all Sunday. Sunday is a kind of blah day. And these items, I feel like if I get them, then I get them. If I like miss it or oversleep or don't really think about it and I miss the sale then I'm okay with it Monday September the 11th hmm not really seeing nothing toward the end of the sale they got kind of slack like the beginning of the sale it was push 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 like I brought so much stuff from the be first beginning weeks until now it's like hmm Y'all yeah, really fell off. And, you know, of course, you know, my videos, I'm only going to tell you, you know, the items that I'm interested in. Okay. Tuesday, September the 10th will be Estee Lauder Face Primer and Set Refresh Mist. So that'll be all their primers and all their uh, face spray. I'm a lover of my NYX Bear With Me spray, so I don't steer from that. Uh, I don't need any primers. <laughs> just because the pack packaging as you can see looks a very very good and nice and uh high end i don't need any more primers i'm satisfied with what i have let me skip that okay uh i'm, I'm on wednesday now y'all okay wednesday i am interested in 
all of the Smashbox Halo Glow products will be on sale. And I already have the Tinted Moisturizer, which I adore, but I'm interested in the foundation and concealer. So I'll make a mental note to, it'll be between $14 and $21. So I'll make a mental note. I need to first look and see the shade selection for the Halo. If you are my shade twin and you have this foundation, drop down and let me know what shade you use to make it a little easier on me. But I'm interested in the foundation and concealer on that. Smashbox to me makes really good complexion products. Oh, I do have their new one. They're always on foundation top tier. If you have not tried that always on foundation from Smashbox, it's like skin in a bottle. I love that foundation. So yeah. Another thing I was interested in, I'm on another day. Yeah, I'm still on Thursday. Okay, Thursday, September the 14th is the Tula Primer. I remember when this first came out and I was just like so obsessed and really wanted to try it because all the reviews were saying how good it is. And if I remember to get it, I'll get it. I just said I don't need any more primers and here I am talking about another primer. But because I've heard so much good things about it, it's made with probiotics and superfoods. I'm just looking at my little ad right here. Filter primer, blurring and moisturizing primer. So that's all it says. Magic hour for medium and deep skin tones. Oh, so it has color to it? Hmm. Okay. Well, we might give that a try. Who knows? Okay. Uh, also on September 14th, it looks like they have woman founded brands. Select brands will be on sale. I don't know any of these brands, as you can see. Never heard of any of these, so that's a strong pass for me. Uh, Sunday Riley is the Super Steel. It'll be September the 15th. Don't have anything from them. I think they like focus mainly like on skincare and stuff like that, but uh, yeah. Urban Decay on Friday also has a Super Steel. It better not be those... Uh, priming things because those have been on Ulta 21 Days of Beauty since Ulta 21 Days of Beauty started and I don't think a lot of people use those eyeshadow primers like that anymore so you could just take that off the sale Ulta. I know Urban Decay you know it was really good when it first came out it was really innovative and it worked for a lot of people but I don't think a lot of people picked that up during the 21 Days of Beauty that's just my opinion uh we're still on Friday uh Y'all, like I said, Saturday, uh, Victor and Wolf. I'm hoping that it'll be Flower Bomb. It'll be a super steel, super surprise, or whatever it's called. So I'll keep my eyes open for that. So far, I have purchased the YSL perfume that they had on sale and also the Coach perfume. I'm a perfume lover. I love me a good perfume. No toilets, just perfumes. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so I'm hoping it'll be Flower Bomb. Uh, the blush. Last year when the 21 Days of Beauty and MAC blush went on sale, I missed it. Everything was sold out. And I don't know like what blush I would get. I'm not a blush person. I know I say that all the time, but here I am looking at blushes. I don't know if I want like I want I think I want something like peachy. I got enough. I got enough makeup. I got enough makeup. I don't need any more makeup. But I don't know. It's a MAC. And when MAC is 50% off, like, you have to grab it and go, okay? Next up, uh, we're still on set. Okay, so this is Saturday. Uh, the Morphe 35-pan palette. Select palettes are going to be half off. Lately, I've been digging into my Morphe palettes. If you have been watching my videos lately, like, I've been using the Sweetest Tea palette. The, the right here. Uh, the Magic Mirror palette. The... Um, Dawn Till Dust palette. Like, I've been really using my Morphe palettes. I don't know. Like, I don't want to get carried away and be like, oh, I need this. I already have every shade under the rainbow and then the shades that's under underneath the rainbow. I have all of those shades. But for 50% off, I don't know. And last but not least is the Tarte Amazon Clay 16-Hour Full Coverage Foundation. This is one foundation that I have always wanted. 
Like ever since it first came out, I can't say that I ever went in store to try to uh, find my shade or even swatched it or anything. I don't know anything about this foundation, but I know that it's, ever since it launched, I have always wanted this foundation. So this might be, if I can go in my altar and like make sure I get the correct shade, even though I think my foundation shade in Tarte is 53S, although in the new Tarte... Uh, Tinted Moisturizer, I got 50 something. It wasn't 53S, it was 50 something. And that worked okay, but that's a Tinted Moisturizer. So, you know, Tinted Moisturizers can be in the range of this or that. So, yeah, I always wanted this foundation. I imagine, I don't know, if you ever tried this foundation, drop down and let me know your thoughts on it, if it's worth the you know to get and pick it up or whatever and that's basically everything y'all we're off the altar sales um sunday september 17th is the last day and then we'll just have to wait for the sephora vib sale fall sale to pick up but that's it drop down and let me know if you're getting anything at all for the last week of the sale i'm interested as always and if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys